In the world of audit data analytics, the goal is to get the auditor from analyzing and testing data using manual approaches to something that looks like this. However, this isn't always the case, especially if one of the biggest hurdles to using data analytics is data acquisition. The question of how do we get the data, as well as questions such as what kind of data do we need? Who owns the data? These questions and the lack of follow through is responsible for most auditors putting the tool on the shelf and falling back on their old methods, even at the expense of the amount of effort and time it takes to perform the work and still not getting superior results. There have been tons of articles written about this very issue, and while auditors are aware, the uncertainty of what to do next is even more profound. In this video, I want to finally shatter the preconceived notions about data acquisition and provide you with some tips to answer these questions and help you gain access to the right data. In addition, a crucial question is, what format can the data be extracted to from the client system that can also be read by the data analytics tool? As you'll see, not all data is created equal. There are many different ERP and business database systems that have their own way of getting the data out. The good news is that it's not as complicated as you may think. So how do we do this? Well, first we start with a meeting. If you are an external auditor, this is a preliminary meeting with the client to present a prepared by client list requesting the schedules and documents the auditor will need prior to starting their field work. If you are an internal auditor, this will also require a meeting, probably with the person in charge of the area you plan to audit. In both cases, it is probably a good idea to have the data gatekeeper present, whether it's the IT manager or database administrator, since part of your request is going to involve stuff they are innately familiar with. In both scenarios, it's very important that you get the green light from top management. Knowing you have support from the top brass will go a long way in ensuring that your data requests get fulfilled. At this meeting, you're going to have to request data. What type of data? Well, that depends on what you plan to audit. Don't try to think about this as data strictly. Just think of what you would normally request to conduct your audit. If you're going to be working off a trial balance, Perhaps getting the detailed general ledger wouldn't be a bad idea. If you're going to examine accounts payable, you'll want to look at the accounts payable aging, payment register, and the vendor master list. From a data analytics point of view, the difference is that you're going to request this information electronically. Make sure you specify the date ranges that are the scope of your audit. Just like you would normally request the accounts receivable ledger for the 12 months ended for a given year, you want to make sure you communicate the date range for the data you are requesting. Third, determine what type of fields you will need for each file you request. For example, if you're going to be looking at the general ledger, you may need to request that the data which the client will need to extract from the system contains the account number, description, classification, debit, credit, and any other relevant field that would be pertinent for your audit. Knowing this will be critical even if the auditor never used data analytics. You still need to know what parts of the general ledger you need. As a tip, one item you can request from the IT manager is a document called a data dictionary, also known as a record layout. This document simply contains a list of all the fields in the file you are requesting. What makes this important is that it spells out the name of the fields, the type of field, and a description of what each field is. Some fields may be self-explanatory, such as a debit credit field, but other fields may not, and so a data dictionary provides us a better understanding and context of the different fields in a file that you want to request. Fourth. Ask what format you can get the data in. Most, if not all, ERP and financial systems can extract data in various formats. You need to find a format that can both be extracted from the system and imported into the data analytic tool. IDEA supports many different formats such as Excel, PDF and print report, Access, 
and fixed length ASCII and comma separated files. Once you get the data in a format that can be both extracted from the client and imported into IDEA, you are then ready to import using IDEA's Import Assistant. So in summary, the question of how do we get the data is not a complicated process. It just requires us to operate in a space that is outside of traditional finance and accounting, which typically requires working with IT. We need to know what we want before we ask. Most of the time we already know this. It's just that we need to request the information electronically and it's usually an IT professional who can give it to us in this format. For more information on audit data analytics, you can visit our website or contact us by email or phone. See you in the next video.